Welcome Walnut. I'm Lara, but you can call me Laz, your host for Walnut Wednesday. This is your reminder to be brave, be yourself, and know that you can make the world a better place just by what you decide today. Here, I'm going to share my weekly walnuttings with you on a Wednesday. Hello, Walnut, and welcome to another episode of Walnut Wednesday. I am trying something a little bit new today, and I am giving it a go to record myself by myself without another person here. So bear with me. Um, If you are just listening to this, it probably will sound the same. (laughs) But um, if you are watching this... I'm just going to wave. I'm just waving if you're listening all night. But hello, hello. Nice to see your face. (laughs) Well, for you to see my face, I can't see your face, but... I digress. Anyway, how are you this week, Walnut? I'd love to hear from you. Um, And I was thinking about this the other day. Let me know if you're listening to the podcast or watching the podcast now, um, because I don't, I don't really know who's there. I mean, I know you're here, but I don't, I don't know that you're here. So um, I really invite you to reach out, share any of the episodes, if um, anything resonates with you, anything like that. But I digress. Hello, I'm here for a new episode and I got some notes on my phone because um, this episode is all about the 21 day cleanse that I've just finished. Um, So about three weeks and the reason why I did a 21 day cleanse was because of my, I just finished my level three um, Reiki um, certification, attunement, you know, whatever. So um. And as part of that, my my teacher for level three um, suggested a 21 day cleanse. And while, where are my notes? I didn't do a, a, a cleanse for level one or level two. I did have, you know, 21 days following my attunement where I had to self Reiki and journal and, and things like that, but I didn't have to do an actual cleanse. So I was really intrigued to see like how this would go. Um, yeah, I had to do various tasks and stuff. That's what my notes say. So, um, she mentioned my teacher swears by it and and she thinks it's important so yeah i thought "Mm, it's obviously doing something correct (laughs) um so she mentioned something now i didn't replay my lesson and my level three lesson was online and it was at like 2 a.m until 8 a.m or something like that so it was a really long morning and i didn't replay I, i still haven't replayed it since actually but and well not we all know what my memory is like so (laughs) she mentioned something about each of the seven day cycle um was something about starting going down your chakras and going through each each of the chakras each day of the week sort of thing um so I did notice that and I did feel that going on um and at the start of the week for example I would always feel not just feeling the Monday vibes <laughs> but I would always feel a little bit like foggy um and then go- going into the week I'd feel like a little bit nasally you know that like onsets when you're about to get maybe a sinusy kind of cold I was getting kind of that and then I'd get like the little glug in my in my throat as well so I was experiencing it going that could have been placebs but that's what I was kind of feeling and obviously I want to share with you um then I did a little bit more investigation because my memory is is bad so I just jumped on the googs on uncle google um and had a look at what the 21 days um Uh, four I kind of just went yes okay tell me what to do and I'll do it rather than going why should I do it I'm not really a why person sometimes um I just knew this is good for me and this is what I need to do and I want to have my level three in Reiki so that's what I did um so I had a little look into the 21 days and it's actually a very intentional process (laughs) um and while I wasn't thinking about it at the time I was actually being intentional with my with the cleanse I was like focused on being on the cleanse rather than um all the all the internal woo-woo stuff going on inside um so week one of the 21 days the first seven is about being is about the physical body and about how um your physicalness 
is responding. The second week is your emotional. Um, and the third is the, is the spiritual body. So the three different kind of bodies. And it was really funny because week two being the emotional one, I was transitioning into, uh, enchantress <laughs> into the PMS pre-period phase. So I was actually being a bloody psycho. <laughs> So could have been uh, my menstrual cycle, could have been the uh, cleanse. Who really knows? But that's what was happening. There was a lot of up and down, bit of bit of craziness going on. <laughs> um, I don't know where the no meat dairy alcohol thing came in. Oh, I don't even think I've explained to you what the cleanse actually was. Walnut. So, um, twenty one days no sex, no gambling, no alcohol, no meat, no dairy, and no salt. And the salt thing was a little bit tricky because some of the things had a bit of salt in them, but I, in terms of my intention with it, I wasn't like putting salting my food. But for example, if something that I bought on the back had salt in the ingredients list, I, I, I wasn't too hard on myself about that. I, I did have a point where I, I had some pre-bought like falafel that I had to use and I felt really bad because it was salt on the ingredients list and I was like oh I should just make my own falafel but then I was like okay we just need to be a little bit real world realistic um I need to use this falaf it's got everything else in it that I that's cleanse appropriate apart from the salt and it's probably like a minuscule amount so um yeah didn't I in the end I wasn't too hard on myself about about the salt thing um yeah, so I don't know where that came into it, but I think in terms of um, what's going on with the three different bodies, uh, it's just a way of, because there's so much already going on in your body, it just makes that kind of having, being on the cleanse without the meat and the dairy and your body doesn't have to focus too much on the digesting and the other things because there's so much already going on from the attunement, if that makes sense. That was kind of my take on on that part um yeah to keep a clear channel as possible so your body isn't focused on yeah the physical digest um that's going on and i can help to just make the the transition into this new up level a little smoother if that kind of makes sense so that's what was my take on it musings because i asked in the walnut tree my group on facebook if anyone had any questions and and what they feel so i think i've covered now what the cleanse was and why i was doing it um so that was the reasoning behind it but what yeah my musings from it which i wanted to really really share with you because i've always been a person that's like i could never be a vegan it's Actually, I'm going to go over this in a second. So musing number one was digestion. Literally, the pipes were lubricated. If you have trouble pooping, this is okay. Let's just we're going to be oversharing a lot here. As you know, Walnut, I'm a very oversharing person. If you have trouble pooping, which I kind of do when I, I always know when I'm a little bit stressed because, um, you know, the movements don't happen for a few days and that's always just been kind of regular for me because I feel like I'm regularly stressed um but no everything was well lubricated as mentioned so if you have trouble moving uh I highly highly recommend having a little bit of a cleanse because all the fiber in my food was making me do the poos <laughs> and it was very good it was satisfying it felt a lot of release <laughs> oh lord so um Yes, if, the, if you have issues with that, very helpful. Um, also another musing, oh, here we go. This is what I was going to say. Uh, the belief that being vegan is expensive um, has completely changed for me because, um, yes, I did have to have a little more intention with my food and a little bit more preparation, um, but that's because it was, I was changing my food. I think if you continue with it, you, it's probably will just feel a bit normal. Um, but by the end, it actually ended up not being a big hassle for me, which was one of my like beliefs about it being expensive and annoying and a hassle. Um, by the end, I actually kind of enjoyed it. Um, I wasn't having as much crap in my body, hence the pooping a lot. And I, um, I enjoyed my food. And a lot of the time in terms of price, um, I found that it's only if you're buying that kind of like fake meat stuff 
that that's where the price comes in because other than that I was eating heaps of veggies just lots of tin food lots of beans and stuff um and yeah so and I even ended up making my own um meat at one point as well so well you know I'm doing air quotes meat the fake meat stuff I don't know what they call it it's called something special but I don't know um so and that's just made out of flour and veggie stock and stuff like that so uh, I combated my belief that it was expensive and a chore because it ended up really not being one for me um so yes that was one of the things um another musing you can get flavor from basic spices without um using like soy sauce and stuff like that so the main ingredients in a lot of my meals were cumin paprika, chili ginger and garlic and all my meals were so delish and so many textures so that was quite cool uh it's been an eye opener to see how much crap is in the stuff that you buy for example i actually only found out at the very end of my cleanse that i was allowed corn chips and you know me i love my chip and dip um so that was like the best day of my life i was like this cleanse is fine i never want it to end because now i can eat chips um but the corn chips the natural flavor the ones in new zealand anyway they literally just have corn and oil and I was like, yes, I can have my crunchy chip fix. Whereas the chips that I bought for Jordan, um, the cheese, delish, delicious cheese flavor that I normally always get, um, had, the ingredients list was so long and just full of crap that I didn't even realize. So it was really interesting to start looking at labels of your food and, and what unintentionally is actually going into your bod and, you know, not keeping your vessel as pure and delicious as you kind of can be, with reason, of course um it should be yeah stuff i couldn't even pronounce like hydroplocoside and side and all these kinds of things it was like oh whoa what even is that actually <laughs> um the no sex thing that came up a lot and there are a lot of comments like poor geordie <laughs> laughing face <laughs> um but while i do want to keep uh, a mo majority of how I feel about that quite private because it's not just me so it's not just about my giant it's about um, my Geordie as well um, I will say the divine timing of this cleanse and having the no sex was kind of uncanny because as you know my little womb step my little womb area is under construction at the moment I'm doing a lot of like um, woo woo kind of womb healing as well but also the issues that I had with like my smear gone funny and then how recently I the doctor thought um because I, I still wasn't feeling 100% right in there maybe there's like thrush like all the way up in there so um the timing was actually really good and I actually did a class with Mariah who is my who is my Reiki level three teacher and I actually do like all her kundalini classes and I did one called active arc lines which um they're these specific parts in your body um that pick up vibrations and like and, uh, and absorb stuff into your body so it's kind of like uh scientific as well um and as women we have one from nip to nip if you can't see me warm up i'm just pointing to my nips there's one like around that kind of area um what do my notes say which is interesting because that's the how i said about picking up vibrations that's the kind of your chest areas where people feel a lot of comfort for example like a newborn baby or um I, when i was reading up on this i actually had this like memory of like my grandma where i'd like always love giving her a, a big cuddle and like have my head like on her chest because it just brought that kind of comfort and probably with my mom too i mean i don't really hug my mom that it's not true i do hug my mom a lot but I hope you get what I mean. I think I'm just what the heck. Um so where I learned in this class, the act of arc lines, that when you're physical with someone, um, you literally like carry their dna inside of you and it gets stored in the vibration of the of the of the of these like not seeable actual lines um so every touch every time you've pashed someone let alone had some pee in the v had some of the of the hanky panks um all that stuff is stuck inside you so this class was all about like releasing past um past partners and and all that kind of stuff um 
the the lesson was actually really cheap just side note it was about 15 new zealand dollars or something and it, 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 yeah converted from canadian it was about 15 dollars under 20 dollars um and that's a really interesting class it's just a whole bunch of kundalini exercises and stuff with the intention of releasing all that stuff that we um you know carry around in these areas so um yeah the timing of the no sex thing was actually quite good because i'm i actually um needed a, a little bit of a rest and it gave me an opportunity to really look into my little wormy and, and and check in with how it was going without wondering if uh any you know things that i um absorbed from vibrations and intimacy and stuff um were being stuck in there i hope that makes sense <laughs> but yes uh, geordie got a lot of comments poor geordie and he made lots of jokes about it but no geordies were harmed in the making of this cleanse he's fine <laughs> Um, during week one, my craving for cheese was very strong. I do love cheese. Uh, the rest of the dairy stuff, not too big of an issue. I have discovered that I love coconut yogurt now, and that's pro probably just going to stay in terms of, um, I do love ice cream. And so my substitute for that was like a little bit of coconut yogurt and some raspberries or something like that. Um, so yes, that the no ice cream and cheese the no dairy part that was a little bit tricky and in week one the craving was so strong but um yeah i i managed be and i think it was also because when i tried to do vegetarian dishes or salads or something like that they always include cheese so that was a big sort of mind shift into um into doing the cleanse successfully and yeah into trying something new oh. I, I lose my train of thought but yeah um and on fridays my craving for wine was very very strong um the snacky food you know like i said the chip and dip i'm i can't believe i didn't discover the corn chips thing sooner because <laughs> i made i made some like bean nachos or something one night um and instead of cheese i did this cashew nut so sauce oh my god walnut i'm obsessed with that that will be a staple in my in my food forever the cashew nut like you know the vegan quote-unquote mac and cheese oh obsessed delish so yeah i had some of that kind of sauce on top of my nut cheese um so i'm i had a lot of fun experience experiencing experimenting with like meat-free alternatives and like that time that i made the schnitzel um the vegan schnitzel made out of like flour and all this kind of stuff it was fun it, it was a really good time and if you ever want the recipes of anything that I made um a lot of it was on my Instagram stories I think I the schnitzel one I made like a TikTok or something but any of the recipes I don't think I took photos sadly but um I had a really good time um I did feel surprised was one of the main emotions because a lot of what I ate was just so yum um and oh, my note here that I'm addicted to the cheese sauce <laughs> uh so yeah I was really surprised and and enjoyed myself on a you know physical eating food level and funny note um this week when I had my first like with meat and dairy meal my mum had made like a, a cheesy pasta bake with chicken and bacon and stuff excuse me and one of the things that I thought was really interesting was because I'd been I'd noticed that with the with the vegany it wasn't really vegan I was allowed eggs but um with the no meat no dairy food I noticed that a lot of the textures are important and there's a lot going on in your mouth when you're eating so there was always like even with mac and cheese I had like you know breadcrumb on top or um seeds and stuff like that so there's always something going on to sort of entertain the palate whereas when I ate this um you know creamy cheesy pasta which i love um yes it was nice to have cheese again but also it was bland to me despite me not eating salt like salting my food for 21 days um it was bland because the chicken and the pasta um and the cream it was all sort of the same thing going on in my mouth i was also quite full i was quite sickly full and i ate like half the portion of normal um so that was really interesting because i've i discovered that i enjoy having different textures when i used to cook i always love having different colors but um having different textures and you know different like 
when you have capsicum or if you don't know what a capsicum is um walnut if you're in the states are you know about a bell pepper i think they're called um they have a certain crunch to them whereas you know spring onion or something has a gives a different crunch to eating like a cooked onion so that kind of stuff was was really interesting um i i'm just going to check walnut that um there were a few other questions that um you had asked me what was the intention so I've covered that trying something new makes you feel a different way um yeah so the biggest changes I've seen yeah I think I've covered all the questions there's the biggest changes I've seen in myself I mean on a on a woo woo reiki level I do feel I had my first like kind of visual experience with doing kundalines so that was quite cool um I feel heaps stronger because at the same time as doing the cleanse I've been doing breath of fire every day for three minutes um which is like you sit like this for three minutes and it sounds quite easy but walnut it is not <laughs> it's um it really hurts so I feel quite strong in the shoulders now I feel like I carry myself a bit differently but in terms of the food I've been eating I haven't noticed a big difference I did get a question about if I feel like I've lost weight um or anything like that to me it wasn't about that I maybe did a little bit but I'd also incorporated um you know this kundalini in and um I'm back to regular tra weight training again so it can it, it is what it is I didn't feel overly like more energized or less energized or fatigued or anything like that um I just kind of felt I think afterwards I just feel a mental strength I feel like I have this little secret and it, that's probably part of actually the level three attunement where I feel like I'm just walking around with a little secret inside and I feel quite powerful I feel quite magical and I think that's the new um incorporation from that Reiki but I think I hope this episode is all right walnut and you kind of get what I'm saying because my walnutting this week I just wanted to actually share my experience of how this cleanse kind of went for me because I was always a person that was like I will never be a vegan it's cost too much money it's so annoying and blah 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 and power to the people that are vegans I don't think I will stick to not having any meat and dairy but it has made me think a little bit about how I do want to have what I do want to have in my diet and stuff like that so um last night I had I went out to a restaurant and um I got the really expensive good quality steak and I want to be thinking more about honoring my food in that kind of way like I'm not I don't just want to buy just cheap ten dollar mints that will last like ten hundred meals um I want to really think about it and this whole the texture thing and stuff like that so I don't know I think it's more um I don't feel necessarily physically different but I feel a mental kind of power and strength and pride in myself that um I looked into it and I think it's all about what you enjoy and how you can make it so you enjoy it um so I hope this episode makes sense Walnut if you have any recipes you want me to try I love trying and cooking new food Geordie and I love cooking if you don't watch um, my stories we're always cooking and, and bickering along the way but um yeah my walnutting this week is just sharing a little bit of in depth of this little cleanse that I tried and thank you so much if um you were one of the people who sent me um some recipes and a little thumbs up along the way and interacted with my my stories and stuff as I went but um yeah if it does encourage you to um give some give a cleanse a go I did debunk a lot of my myths not myths my uh, beliefs and hesitations around meat and dairy free um, living uh, so yeah I don't want to get into the politicalness of it but um, yeah I, I surprised myself and I'm really proud of myself that I followed through with it as well you know my open heart center my willpower is not strong I don't usually commit to things for a long period of time so yeah I hope you're having a good week Walnut and I would really really love to hear from you so keep me posted on how you are and how you're going if you enjoyed this episode please like share all the things um and let me know if you are tr trying it gonna try a thing pretty big it there <laughs> I waffle now at the end when I don't know what I want to say also I invite you to join the walnut tree on Facebook um 
interact it's a wonderful community to um you know feel like you're not by yourself in uh, and I show up a little bit more in there than I do um on the other platformies so yeah and if you would like to book a reiki healing with me now that i have more magical powers <laughs> now that i'm up leveled into a little bit more of a more magic um no not really i just feel like i've unlocked a really high trust in myself and it feels really nice so i'm just basking in that at the moment but i've I digress. If you want to book a Reiki session with me, I welcome you. Let me know. Just get in touch. Um, there is a link in my Instagram bio. And also um, if you're in the Walnut Tree special rates for um, the Walnut Collective. So please join. I would love to hear from you. Let me know how you are. And again, Walnut, I thank you so much for your time. Thank you for being here. You are beautiful. You are sexy and you are delicious. Have a good week and I'll talk to you next Wednesday. Bye. Mm -hmm.